Okay, so I'm going to go through a second example of Dijkstra's algorithm, a little bit faster than the first time, just so that we can see a little bit more of uh, what's going on. Um, so this one, uh, I'm trying to find the shortest distance from vertex A to vertex E. Okay, so first of all, I put a zero at my starting vertex. I box it because that's now the one that I'm considering and I find the shortest distance out of A. So I could go to B, which would be 5, and I could go to H, which would be 4. Okay, so I then pick the least unboxed number, which is the 4. So I box the 4. I go, well, 4 plus 2 would get me 6. 4 and 7 would get me 11. Okay, so they're the two roots out of H that I could be considering. I then choose the least unboxed out of all three. So the least here is the five. So I pick five, and I think, well, five plus two is seven, which isn't better than six. Five plus four is nine. Notice how I haven't written down seven, okay? So I, if I find that there is a root to a vertex which is less, or rather more, than the one that is already there, I don't bother writing anything down. I ignore it. So the least out of here is is 6, because I've got 9, 6, and 11. So 6 is the next least. I have 6 and 8 would be 14. 6 and 7 would be 13. Okay. So then I pick the next least. 9, 13, 14, and 11. So that would be 9. Well, 9 and 3 is 12, which is better than 13. So a single line through the 13 and write 12 instead. Okay. Then the next least out of 12, 14, and 11 is 11. 11 and 4 is 15, which isn't better than 14, so I don't bother writing anything down. The next least is the 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. Next least is 14. 14 and 5 isn't better than 18, so 18 is the last one, is the least, that's the one I write down. So I now need to find the root that gets me from A to E, so I've got to work backwards. So starting at E, 18 take away 6 is 12, so that works, so D. 18 take away 5 gets me 13, which isn't 14, so that's not the root. So from D, 12 take away 7 isn't 6, but 12 take away 3 is 9, so it's C. 9 take away 4 is 5, that's the only root out, gets me to B. And then 5 take away 2 isn't 6, but 5 take away 5 is 0. So A, B, C, D, E, and the root is, the shortest distance is 18. If there was then like a part B, for this question, it said, right, write down the shortest distance from A to F. Make sure at that point you don't say to yourself, right, okay, I've got to do Dijkstra's algorithm all over again. You don't. A to F is 14. Just read it off your graph, okay? So don't uh, have a silly idea and think you have to do Dijkstra's algorithm all over again. If it then said, what's the shortest distance from C to G, however, Yes, you would have to do Dijkstra's algorithm again. You can't just do 11 take away 9, okay? Hopefully that question, however, wouldn't arise. But if it asked you from A to any of the other vertices, then yes, just read it straight from your graph.